Thank you very much, Diane. Steady rise to four, eh? Now, have you ventured into the loft yet to bring out your Christmas tree and decorations? When you do, you may well find half of them are missing and the fairy lights don't work. But now, a company in Merseyside is offering a practical way to relieve that seasonal stress. Dave Guest can tell us more about it. They'll deck your halls with boughs of holly or anything else you choose. They call themselves the Christmas decorators, and they do just what it says on their labels. Well, in the United States, every town has at least one or maybe two companies that would offer this kind of service. And here in the UK, um, there is no such service that exists at the moment. So we thought there was an opening in the market for it. But is there a demand for this? We're not Americans after all. Well, the trends in Christmas tend to follow from America to England. There's normally about a two-year delay, so we thought we'd get in there now. I'm decorating it with 600 lights and then putting um, some glamorous baubles on, some ribbons, some um, hand-painted baubles, some toys, and finishing up off with a nice explosion at the top. An explosion? Yes, it's like fireworks going out at the top instead of the um, old-fashioned angel or star. Oh, it's lovely watching other people work, but this isn't a service that comes cheap. A tree alone can cost you between three and eight hundred pounds. However, for that, they will come along on Twelfth Night, take it all down, pack it up, store it for you, and bring it again next year. At least it saves trailing up and down to the loft. But the idea of contracting out this festive job doesn't appeal to everyone. The children always do it, and it's flung on. <laughs> I'll do my own. Why? Oh, no one does it like yourself too, do you really? So, just do my own. Meanwhile, after hours of hard work, the team have just about finished. Well, of course, it can be difficult for people to imagine how the finished product's going to look. So, the company do these computer-generated images in order that the client can see just what the house will look like. So. Does the reality match up to the photograph? Time for the big switch on. Ah, isn't that pretty? Dave Guest, Northwest Tonight, Liverpool. Well, you've seen the professionals do it, but we know there are plenty of enthusiastic amateurs in the region who are putting the finishing.